Hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode on Engineering Pritam. In this video, we will continue our Creo Parametric series. And this video is going to be our first video where we will talk about a 3D feature. Till now, we were talking about Creo Sketch. From this video onward, we will start Creo Modeling. And let's start with a very basic and first tool inside PTC Creo Parametric which is extrude and if i talk about ptc creo extrude it is quite vast as not only you can add material through it you can also remove through that so if i compare it with softwares like solid edge or siemens nx or there are so many so in those softwares we generally have two different command for example extrude and cut but in case of PTC Creo Parametric, it is only tool. And then there are so many variations and options. So let's see and understand them one by one. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in our computer screen and let me actually type Creo. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do here is let me click here on new. And then I'm going to select same part model and solid. And here I can give my model a name. So let me type here extrude and then hyphen one and let's hit OK. And there we go. Now we are in PTC Creo parametric part modeling environment. Now um, in order to enable extrude command, you simply need to click on extrude and then here you need to select the plane and then, you know, we can create any geometry and just give them dimension hit ok and there we go in this way we can create our extrude got confused let me show you everything step by step for that actually i have prepared some of models and let me actually open uh, one of such so here we can see we have got these three different sketches and as we have seen in our previous video, the way we can create these sketches. So in this video, we will cover basic part of extrude. So based on our previous learning that we have learned in our previous videos, just try to create sketch. And then after that, what we can do here is, um, let's say for example, I would like to extrude this particular sketch. I can select it and then here you can see the extrude option is there. And if you see, there is a bracket in front of extrude. Inside that bracket, the shortcut command is also there. So you can also enable or you can also run extrude command by simply pressing that shortcut command. So as I hit X, here you can see, I can see the extrude preview. It is that easy guys, but I do not want to start it like this. Let me actually select this sketch and then select this extrude command. So now let me click on extrude and there we go guys. We just need to select the sketch that we want to extrude and then we can click on extrude command and then you can define the value or the height of your extrude. Let's say 20 and in this way guys we will able to extrude. Now let's click on OK. And there we go guys, we have successfully extruded the sketch that we have selected. Or else what we can do is we can actually select the extrude command first and then we can select the sketch. There is no such first way or best way, it is totally up to us and I really like this freedom. Either we can select sketch or we can select the tool, we are good in both cases. So in this particular example of sketch, I selected the command first or extrude tool first and later on I selected this sketch. And again, as I said before, in case of PTZ Creo Parametric, you can do both together using one command. So we can add material as well as remove material as well. So here we can see by default the direction of extrude is this side. But let's say I want to do this in opposite direction. For that here you can see these are two arrows. Just click on that arrow and you will see 
now instead of removing material our extrude is adding material and i would say it is really smart because the tool saw that this side is just 3d space we do not have any object here and then it got converted to addition of material okay so now i can again here specify the value so let me put five here and in this way guys we can make this extrude okay now we have got this third extrude and this time what i'm gonna do is again uh let me use mini toolbar this time let's click on extrude and now again i'm gonna change this direction by simply dragging my mouse and let me make this 5 mm or let's say 3 mm and not only we can add or remove material we can do one more thing we this time want to add some taper to it for that here i can go to option and then i can click on add taper and then here let me make this value as 3 and there we go guys here we can see there is draft or taper on this feature and you can also vary this value by again going to edit definition and let's make it 5 so that it is more visible so i hope guys you now can easily recognize with your eyes that we have added taper to this surface now let me actually change this to shading with edges so that edges can be clearly visible so this was our very initial impression on Creo Extrude. Creo Extrude itself is a vast tool, a very advanced one. In our next video, we will cover another aspect of Creo Extrude. And I am planning to make this video in three halves. So this one was our first half. And I hope that you understood the basics of PTC Creo Extrude. Try to create something by yourself. Share your experience in comment down below. And if you have got any question, then do let us know that as well. I am your host Preetam signing off for this video. Make sure you subscribe to Engineering with Preetam to follow this complete PTC Creo course for free. And I will catch you soon with another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.